Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Sunday, the very first day of January 2023. Amazing. The year starts on a Sunday, God's very day. I'm so excited and I believe that this is the year you've been waiting for. Everything about your life this year will be many times better than it was last year. Well, let's look at our seeds of destiny today. We're looking at the topic today, key to experiencing a new beginning. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. Thought for the day, when the Spirit moves, new things happen. Once again, I'd like to say a very happy new year to you. And I'd like to say welcome to the year 2023. In this new year, God shall give you a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Now it has been established that we serve the God of new beginnings. God is an expert in giving people new beginnings in life and in destinies. Why? Because he is the beginning and the end of all things. Revelations chapter 22 verse 13. Now, what is the key to experiencing a new beginning with God? In other words, what do we do to experience a new beginning with God? Every new beginning begins with a seed. For example, before a child is born, a seed must be released from the man to the woman. Today, we shall be looking at the diverse kinds of seed that give rise to new beginnings. The first one is the seed of understanding divine purpose. To experience a new beginning, you must understand the purpose of God for your life. You must understand that where you currently are is not your last bus stop. It is not the end of your life. Proverbs 4.18 Number two, the seed of understanding of divine timing. To experience a new beginning, you must understand that God gives a new beginning according to his timing. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11a. So you must be sensitive to divine timing in order to experience the move of the Holy Spirit. Thirdly is the seed of the move of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit moves, new things begin to happen. Genesis 1 2b. So if you can create the move of the Holy Spirit, through the depth of worship and the revelation and the release of the word of God, you can experience a new beginning. Our counsel is make demands on God for a new beginning by planting the various seeds that we have just talked about. Remember this, that when the spirit moves, new things happen. What's our assignment today? Number one, go through today's message prayerfully and thoughtfully again and ask God to speak to you. Secondly, plant the various seeds that we have discussed today in our study so that you can experience new beginnings in your life. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I thank you for the key gift of a new year and the keys you have shared with us. Thank you for the new beginning that this year holds for me. I ask, oh God, that you help me to fulfill my destiny in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm excited and I believe that God has heard that prayer and answered in Jesus' name. Know that your destiny is not at the mercy of your economy. Your destiny is at the mercy of your seed. This is called from 21 Uncommon Keys to the Financial Overflow by Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. Today we're reading Genesis chapter 1 all the way to Genesis chapter 5. Do stay up to date with your Bible reading and I believe the Lord's help will be made manifest in your life. In Jesus' name, praise God. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray for you today. It's your birthday. I'd like to wish you a very happy birthday. As your days are, so shall your strength be. I pray that the Lord will cause his face to shine on you and God will be gracious unto you and God will grant you victory 
in Jesus name happy birthday awesome God praise the Lord now before I close there's a very important prayer we need to do and that is for you if you are not yet born again you want to make the very first day of the year 2023 your year of being saved your year of rededicating your life to Jesus your year of making things right with God this is beyond New Year's resolution it is a resolve to live to please God and you want to do that simply pray this after me say Lord Jesus thank you for fine for dying for my sins find a place in your heart to forgive me O Lord and come into my life be the Lord of my life wash away all my sins make me a new person from today I turn my back on sin I will live to please you O God in Jesus name Praise the Lord. You prayed that prayer and you meant it from the depth of your heart. I say congratulations. You shall remain standing in God and you shall remain in solid relationship with God this year in Jesus' name. Well, we're closing today and I believe that you've had a wonderful time on Seeds of Destiny. We'll see you at the next episode. God bless you. <music>